Hi, everyone. Yeah, welcome back to Old Time Rock and Roll. I'm your host, David Tear, where I'm featuring uh, my personal top 3,000 rock songs of all time from 1954 to 1999. Uh, before I get to this song, I just want to, I guess, sort of apologize for last night. I kind of made a fool of myself. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I sing better than I was singing that song. I actually sang uh, the last song, which was... Uh, I Will Always Think About You by uh, New Colony 6. I made that a long-distance dedication to my old high school sweetheart. I don't know if you guys watched that one, but I, I kind of regret it. I may delete that one. I'm not sure yet. Uh, I hope I hope Allison's okay with it. I don't think she's seen it yet. But anyway, enough of that. Uh, uh, you might be interested to know that today's song, uh, number 2954, uh, Sugar and Spice by the Crying Shames. Uh, here's a picture of the album it came off of. Uh, the Crying Shames, like, like the artist I featured last night, uh, New Colony 6, uh, uh, The Crying Shames was also from the Chicago area. They were from Hinsdale, Illinois, which is a suburb of Chicago. And both uh, these bands were garage bands. Uh, they were both also soft rock bands. And there was a lot of good music from Chicago in the in the mid to late 60s. Uh, you know, I used to live in Chicago, so I used to hear a lot of it on the oldie station I used to live, listen to. Crying Shames was not a very big band nationally. As a matter of fact, this song, Sugar and Spice, and here's, here's a picture of the band. Uh, I guess they had, uh, what, six members. Uh, and I thought they sounded pretty good, you know. They were a, they had good, um, you know, harmony, and they were a good vocal band. They all sang, and... Uh, um, I don't think they were bad, but they never had a lot of really big hits. Their their first big hit was Sugar and Spice, the one I'm featuring today, and it was a minor hit. It it didn't quite make the top 40. It made it up to number 49 on Billboard, and it was actually a remake. It was a remake of a song by uh, by the Searchers. You might have heard of them. They were one of the uh, early British invasion bands. They had a number of big hits, uh, mostly 64. Um, but uh, they also had a minor hit with this song, interestingly. Uh, I think their, their their version of this song came out in 1963. So it was before they were really big. Uh, you know, it was before the British invasion really started in America. Um, but there's, their version went a little bit higher than the Crying Shames. Their version went up to number 44. And that one is coming up on my list shortly. Um, and I want to talk a little bit more about the Crying Shames. Like I said, they... They didn't have any top 40 hits. Uh, uh, the biggest was this one, Sugar and Spice. But in the Chicago area, they had several other big hits. Uh, the follow-up to this one, uh, I'm going to go back to the album cover. I think they were all on this album. Uh, their their next big hit was called I Want to Meet You. And I actually, I think this was my favorite of their songs. I don't know how many of you guys have heard this song. I think it's kind of funny. starts out, I first saw you in a magazine, I want to... And then it goes through a pause, sort of an instrumental pause. And then it says, I want to meet you. I want to. And then again, another pause. And, you know, I, I think they had a, something else in mind besides just meeting this woman. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what they were trying to say with that song. But I do like it. And they didn't have very many other hits. Uh, uh, it Could Be We're In Love was another hit of theirs that came out the following year, 67. Uh um, and then most of their other songs I really didn't care for. Uh, most of them were very, very mellow ballads. And they were so mellow that you almost make you sick if you listen to them. Uh, they actually did a very bad version. I think it was a very bad version of a really good song by the Drifters called Up on the Roof. Uh, um, you know, Drifters were a great band from the early 60s. And Up on the Roof is a classic of theirs. And uh, the Crying Shames unfortunately remade it, and they came up with a really nauseating uh, slow version of that song, which I really don't care for. Uh, and, uh, you know, James Taylor also did a remake of Up on the Roof, and his was mellow too, but not as bad as the Crying Shames. Uh, I still like the Drifters version the best. But anyway, uh, that I guess that's my profile on Sugar and Spice by the Crying Shames. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.